Elder Scrolls Online has been one of the go-to MMOs to play for almost 10 years now, a feat you don't see with many games unless they're really, really good. This is also largely due to ESO being a part of the Elder Scrolls franchise, loved by millions of supporters across the world. If you type in Elder Scrolls or Skyrim on YouTube, you'll see tons of videos coming out every single day, getting hundreds of thousands to millions of views. Even in-game, the towns and cities are lively and heavily populated, but when you actually take a look at the player numbers it paints an interesting picture i noticed a huge problem while filming i spent 10 hours in elder scrolls online majority of the game is behind a paywall which is typical mmo shenanigans they got to make the big bucks somehow but it gets really extreme in eso there are three main ways for you to dump your money first the game isn't free you have to at least buy the base edition to play the game i would recommend instead to buy the high io collection providing the newest expansion the old ones and the base game second if you want all all the additional DLC content they frequently release, you can get the ESO Plus subscription, unlocking hundreds of hours of things to do, new skill trees of abilities and zones you can explore. The issue is as soon as you cancel the subscription, you lose access to all the DLC content unless you permanently unlock it with crowns, a currency found in the third way to spend money, the cash shop. In the shop, you can buy cosmetics, pay for convenience items and permanently unlock content. Of course, majority of this stuff is optional you don't have to buy it but being a story-based mmo to get the full experience of eso it's mandatory in my opinion this does turn off new players my point is somewhat proven when you compare elder scrolls online and mmo to its single player counterpart skyrim an rpg game that doesn't update constantly and was released 12 years ago costing very little to get in in comparison to eso's multiple monetization methods based on steam numbers google trends and youtube views Skyrim is clearly the more popular game, but that doesn't paint the full picture. Let's finally answer the question, is Elder Scrolls Online still popular going into 2023? If we look at the player numbers, this MMO has remained relatively in the same spot for years now, around that 20 to 30,000 player mark. Definitely has a diehard audience that is loving the game and with frequent updates, I don't see this changing anytime soon. Once someone is actually playing the game, they seem to stay for the long term, which makes sense. ESO is very well designed, has an immersive world to explore, and hundreds of hours of story content that is arguably the best you'll find in an, any MMO. Like I mentioned earlier, the paywall creates a massive barrier of entry for new players. In comparison to a completely free game like Lost Ark, it has a massive audience of players, but because they didn't pay, there's no incentive for them to stay. That rhymed, by the way. When there's a lack of content, hundreds of thousands quit the game at a time and most don't return. Elder Scrolls is the complete opposite. Minimal drop-offs and when content comes out, most seem to return. So I do consider Elder Scrolls Online a popular MMO and one of the best, at least top 10 you can play in the genre. And for the foreseeable future, it should remain in the same spot. By the way, check out my terrifying experience of Elder Scrolls Online in this video and consider subscribing if you're new for future Immaculate content. Appreciate you for watching. Peace.